This is James Tierney with the Wagga Sheep and Lamb Report for the 19th of August. Uh, reduced yarding, uh, 34,000 lambs yarded in the end, including uh, 11,000 new season lambs. Generally, the new the uh, suckers were uh, were of pretty good quality, but there was uh, there was a few store suckers throughout the yarding, uh, along with 6,000 sheep. Um, an extremely buoyant market, um, I'd say. Definitely the dearest I've ever I've ever seen when you put it in per kilogram um, terms. Uh, pretty well all the all the better end lambs that are supermarket quality or better are anywhere from five to ten deer uh, on on a very buoyant market last week, and they've all made in the vicinity. Generally speaking, whether they're trade or heavy, they've all made from ten dollars to eleven dollars a kilo. Um, Best heavy lambs to 360. There was an exceptional pen of new season lambs that made three dot three hundred and thirty dollars. Uh, your trade suckers will average at around about ten dollars forty or fifty a kilo, and most of your heavy old lambs are, uh, as I said, ten dollars dearer. I thought merinos sold to uh, fairly similar price trends to where they've been. They're still very very good uh, price wise. Um, but uh, probably similar to where they were last week. In the uh, mutton side of things, we saw 6,000 yarded and uh, with the um, absence of one major exporter, um, the heavy mutton in particular were probably anywhere from 20 to $30 cheaper. Uh, that was probably to be expected. Um, and I also thought lighter sheep were, uh, were somewhere in the vicinity of five to 10 cheaper. But um, overall, an unbelievable day uh, on the lamb front and um, we'll see where it goes next week.